Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create unlimited Facebook account without getting banned or disabled. So this is the latest method that is currently working. So if you are new to my channel, smash the like button and subscribe for more amazing videos like this. So if you want to create multiple accounts on your Facebook and anytime you try to do that on the app, your account will get disabled after a few seconds or few minutes. Even when you try to enter your information, they are going to show you some error message that you can't manage or create multiple accounts. So I found a solution to that. So to create multiple accounts on your Facebook, you have to make use of a multi-login website. So let's head over to this website, as you can see, anti-detect browser. So this, you need anti-detect browser to manage multiple accounts on your Facebook. And with this anti-detect browser, you can also create multiple accounts on any website. So it can be multiple Google accounts, it can be multiple Amazon accounts, multiple Facebook accounts, Instagram accounts, and others. So you can use this to manage multiple profiles on any website that you like. So I'm going to put the link to this website in the description down below. So just come to this website and click on sign in. So let me maximize it or let's leave it like this. So now, once you click on sign in, you need to create an account. So it is very easy and straightforward. Just click on sign up and create your account. So I have an account already. So let me log into my account. Once you've logged into your account, you are going to see something like this. So there's also an app that you can download. So on their website right here, you are going to see the download option. So they have an app like this. So you can just make use of the app and you can also do everything on their website. So let's go back to this page. And now you need to create a browser profile. So with each browser profile, you can use it to manage accounts. So let's say I created one, I can use it to manage a Facebook account. And if I still create another browser profile, I can use it to manage another Facebook account. And with this browser profile, no information on the first one will be linked to the second one. It's going to be as if you're using two different systems. Maybe you're using two different phones or two different laptops. So it's not going to link the information on each browser profiles. So now click on create profile. And it's going to take a few seconds to load. And now you need to start adding the profile name. So you need to start adding the profile information. So let's say first browser profile. Once you've added the name, you're going to see the option to add or link your account. As you can see, select the account type for login or registration. So you can just click on add account. You cannot pick a website that you want to use this for. You can also leave it like this. So it's going to show for all websites. So you can use it to manage multiple Facebook accounts, Instagram accounts, and others. So let's just leave it like this. And now you're going to see proxy settings. So you can choose to add proxy, which makes it more secured. So there are different websites that you can buy proxy. So you can choose to add proxy by using custom proxy. So you have to enter the proxy information right here. And as you can see, you can also choose not to use a proxy. So I'm just going to choose no proxy. But if you have it, I'm going to advise you to use it for extra layer of security. So now you're going to see profile remarks. So you can just leave this as it is. And you're going to see profile group. So you can just leave all this at it. You can also click on fingerprint and you're going to see more options right here. So you can make it to be a Windows operating system, you can make it to be a Mac, it can be Android, and it can also be iOS. So let's leave it as Android. And now you're going to see all other settings like this. So you can also leave them as they are, and you can also change them. So once you are done, click on confirm. So now, once you click on confirm, the browser profile will now be created. You can also create multiple right here. So once you've created it, just click on open. And as you can see, they are going to ask you to download the software. So you have to download the app. Once, since I've downloaded the app, let me go over to the app. So let's sign into my account. And now I'm going to open the browser profile. So it's going to take a few seconds to load, as you can see. And now I guess the browser profile is now opened. As you can see, it has opened this browser. 
So this way you can now create your account. As you can see, you are going to see the details of the browser. So let's say you use a proxy, you are going to see the proxy right here. So you are going to the IP address. So if you are using a proxy, the location is going to be in another country, depending on the proxy that you use. So right here, you can now go over to facebook.com and I can guarantee you that any account that you created right here will not be blocked. So just head over to create new account. As you can see, the UI is different because I'm using Android. So I use Android 14 for this. So just head over to create new account and now select create new account. Enter your name right here. Also make sure you are using a different name. So if you are using the same name on all the accounts, this can allow Facebook to know that it is someone that is trying to use all these accounts. Just try to be careful with this. I'm sure you, are, you will be careful when you are doing it. Just try to be careful and none of your accounts will be blocked. Let's go with January with this and click on next. So now you need to select if you are a male or a female. And now you need to enter your mobile number. So if you want to use your number, you can also create your account with email address. So enter the email right here and click on next. You can also make use of temporary email websites, but I will advise you to use a real Google account email. So just enter it, they will send a call to the email and your account will be created successfully. So if you want to create another Facebook account, you need to create a new browser profile. So just click on create profile. And once you click on create profile, you need to fill in all the information I showed you earlier. Once you fill in all the information, I will also advise you to use a custom proxy. So there are different websites where you can buy proxy. So you can just, so let me open my browser. So you can just head over to proxy right here. Sorry. So you can just search for proxy in your website. So I also have this website and their proxies are very cheap. Proxyzilla.com. I'm also going to put the link to their website in the description down below. So you can check them out. Their proxies are very cheap. As you can see. So I would advise you to use the proxy for your account to be in a different location. So let's say you buy USA proxy. Your account will be USA based. So just click on buy proxy. As you can see, they are very cheap. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button and subscribe. Just enter the proxy in your second browser profile, open it, and you can create another account right there. Thanks you so much for watching. And if you have any question, drop them in the comment down below.